Hi, Shalom. This is Kobe with Mount Uz Israel Ministries. I'm with my good friend here, Alan. Shalom. We're on our way down south to meet with our special soldiers, our heroes who are protecting Israel, doing the least that we can do. We're on our way. So we finally got here. We're on the border of Gaza bringing some amazing young men and women some much needed food, nutrition, and equipment that they could use. It's really amazing the Lord gave us grace to be able to get a hold of some of this stuff. And we're going to meet some of our incredible men and women here and give them some food right now. Wow. We have our entire vehicle full of supplies and equipment for our wonderful soldiers. We're traveling all the way down to the southern border of Gaza, and we'll go all the way up to the border of Lebanon today, yes, in one day. And we have some amazing people we're about to meet. Let's go. Hello, dear ones. My name is Daniel Yab. I'm the pastor of the Peniel Congregation in Tiberias. Very thankful for uh, this equipment that we got through Moos. And this is these are uh, solar panels that allow to load batteries, um, power bank, and and that will be very useful in time when the electricity gets hit and and uh, falls down. Shalom, shalom. Here is Alan from Moos Israel team. And today we want to show you what we are buying for our soldiers to keep them warm in the winter. We're buying 2,000 fleece jackets to keep them well. They are right in the border of uh, Gaza. So thank you for your support. Thank you for loving and praying for Israel in this time of need. We came here down south, secret base here. We're gonna show you everything. This is a wonderful friend of mine, Pastor David Safafa. Some of his guys here, wonderful believers, are here serving, and we're going to bring them some. It gets, it gets very cold here in the desert at night. Bringing them some some things to keep them warm, some things to give them some electricity so they can call their families. Thank you guys for this great gift. <laughs> and I think you. This on. And we have a few things also to help you with morale. So we've unsuccessfully looked for water bottles. We were told that at any moment we could be without water, electricity, and basic necessities for about 72 hours. Some reports say weeks, some reports say a week. Not exactly sure what the right time frame is, but we wanna be ready. And we actually are going to try to help some others who cannot find water as well. I found a good friend of mine, needed some, was in my same situation, couldn't find water. So take one, we're gonna give him a uh. few of these for his family of five in case yeah. we need them. I pray to God we won't need emergency water, but in case we need it, we have it. So thank you, Lord. And Lord, bless all those who are praying for Israel. Yeah. 